Hey, look where we're at today. We're at the student prison in Heidelberg. This is such a cool place. I hope you like it too. This is Joe Ader from Frankfurt on Foot. Okay, we're gonna walk down the steps here. I'm gonna go slowly. And we're going down the steps filming because me going up the steps filming is not that good of an idea. This is truly my favorite thing to see in Heidelberg. I know everybody wants to see the castle, but for me, it's a student prison because it's so unique. This was here for like 200 years and these students would have to come here and spend three days to maybe two weeks, depending on what they did. And usually what they did was get into fights, get into duels, um, drunkenness, disorderly conduct, uh, going down the streets late at night, making lots of noise. No. Okay, we're upstairs here in the student prison in Heidelberg. I got the doors off. They're doing some renovation in here, so it doesn't look quite as fun as it normally looks like, but you know, it's an old building, you gotta take care of it. I did kind of like this over here because it says the egg of Columbus, uh, a worthwhile sightseeing thing. I don't know what that means. If anybody can help me out, let me know. This is, I think, I wanna say the throne room but it says it's for people that don't get dizzy because of the steps. This is so cool. I love this place. Look at these guys. <laughs> so let's uh, turn this off for a second. This is the Jesuitan church in on Heidelberg and we're going to go inside and see what it looks like because I think it's just really pretty and I hope that you like it too. Oh my goodness, look how pretty this is. It's kind of a simple white. The green and gold up on the pillars. This is not one of the older churches in Heidelberg. This was built in the middle 1700s. So they got kind of a newish organ over here. They've got this beautiful organ over here on the side. We'll go over there and look at it in a minute. Sometimes simplicity is best. That looks pretty Baroque here. I'm thinking this might be the original organ. This other one is new. We're gonna go outside. 
We're just going to stroll down the street in Heidelberg here. See what we can see. Lots of stores. It's pretty busy. It's not summertime tourist full busy, but it's fairly busy. A Bernstein Laden. Everything made with amber. I bet that's a pretty store. Look at this door. It's gorgeous. You can see the castle part up ahead, or part of the wall. And I'm not gonna go up to the castle today. That's like a whole nother video. And I think I'll save that for the Christmas market time because I'm gonna be down here for that again. There's a Jesuit church. Lots of hotels, lots of restaurants down here. Anything you want to eat, they got it. Lots of cafes. I think Heidelberg's a fun town. I wouldn't mind coming here for a day or two overnight. Bubble tea, whiskey, my curry verse. Kind of a Catholic town with all these Madonnas and things, except it is a Protestant town. I got made Protestant after, during the Reformation. So, guest house to Golden Zona. Bakery. I love all these little streets, the side streets that go up through here. So this is the church, the Holy Spirit Church. So we're going to go inside. This is a pretty church. And you know, Heidelberg didn't get bombed in the war, so everything in here is all original. I think they have some thing, uh, sometimes where you can walk up to the top of the tower here. So the church itself was built in the 1300s. So I'm gonna turn this off till I get inside. We're inside the church. You can see it's pretty simple in here. But this cross they have hanging it's kind of unique. It's twirling around with the breeze and it keeps changing colors. I think it's like a lucite cross. It's the most unusual thing I've ever seen. Up here in the ceiling, we've got a Pentecost hole. And they've got some interesting windows in here. And this church is used by the Catholics and the Protestants. And it's been used by the Catholics and the Protestants since the 1700s, so quite a long time. The 
I believe this is their new organ that they bought because when I was here about 10 years ago, this organ wasn't here. It's got these trumpet pipes like you see in Spain or at the Frankfurt Dome. Beautiful ceilings. Oh, and all the crests over here on the walls. And then this beautiful window down here. Have to change hands for a second, hold on. I do want to walk over here to see these windows because they're very pretty. But the ceiling is gorgeous too, isn't it? These windows over here are kind of unusual. I'm not quite sure what they're supposed to be, but we can see what this window is for. Six, eight, August, yeah, 1945. Sixth of August, 1945. Yeah, atomic bomb. I'm not supposed to recall that. Peace on Earth. Let's look at our rotating cross in the breeze. And we'll move on. We've left the church. We're out here in front of this hotel. Must be an interesting hotel as well. as a pretty famous restaurant in Heidelberg. The building itself is just fantastic. We've got a nice view of the church and the gargoyles. Some of these buildings up here are just have the most beautiful flowers in their flower boxes. This is a pretty building here. This pale peach. Gasa. And this huge plaza sit out here, enjoy a cool drink. Evenings down here are so lovely. I think a lot of the tour buses leave then. You kind of have the place to yourself. If you're here, you can come here and get groceries. A little small market. Nice view of the church. Look at these gorgeous flowers, aren't they lovely? They're actually geraniums. So we're going to take a little peek at the castle if we can see it from down here but we're not going to go up like I said what's really fun is to come down here when they're doing the burning of the castle there it is 
This is so unique and so fun because it really does look like it's on fire. They use flares and smoke and red lights. It's fantastic. So this is called Corn Marked. And right up the street here is where you catch the funicular to go up to the castle. Now to go up there, it's nine euros. That gets you a round trip a ride on the funicular and entrance into the castle. So you can go see the largest wine barrel in the world and some other things. So thank you for watching today. It's been a pleasure having you with me. Remember to subscribe because we almost have a thousand subscriptions. Make my day. So Joe Ader saying goodbye. See you in the next video.